People who definitely need to make a trip to the doctor for some treatment. And gentlemen, welcome to the Mechanus Through X Refutation Station Part 4. And I'll, I'm going to try to make this uh, kind of short here. Not going to get too long winded. Just two pieces of business here. Another, I have another example here of uh, McStupid being challenged. And I took this screenshot you're seeing on your screen, the two of them. This was quite a while ago, maybe oh, almost a year ago now, not quite. Six months or so, it's been a while, where uh, a user challenged McStupid X and, on her uh, political paradigm, and McStupid, again, assumed, and this I don't know if this is a mental illness or what, she assumed that this person challenging her was a Christian, and it turned out the person wasn't. And McStupid went her usual spiel, you know, it's it's the same crap, you know, it's slightly different derivatives, you know, every once in a while, but it's the same nonsense you, you hear from her. And this person uh, slapped her down. It was a Hoopty Hamburger was the user, and I've got those screenshots up so you can go talk to him if you feel the need to. Um, he did mention that he's a libertarian and that uh, not all Republicans are Bible-believing Christians. And that's true. In fact, there's a, there's a lot of libertarians, and a lot of them are probably may get upset in this upcoming election. Might get pissed off by some of the things the Republicans have done and vote for Gary Johnson, which I don't blame them. Don't blame them one bit. But he pointed out that there are a lot of non-Christians who aren't, economically speaking, uh, speaking from the perspective of bailing uh, industries out, which is going to be the main event on this. Uh, high taxes. Uh, egregious regulation, just the basic belief that government is the be-all, end-all of everything. And this person obviously didn't believe this. He's an atheist, and uh, he identified himself as a Republican, a libertarian uh, member of the Republican Party. And McStupid obviously assumed that this person was a Christian just because he spoke out against her. And it shows us how stupid McStupid is, that she automatically assumes uh, she's still uh, pushing this false dichotomy of left versus right. There are a lot of people who are socially liberal. They favor homosexual marriage and abortion, but yet they have nothing in common with the Democrats on taxes. And I, I'd say even the Republican Party now is, uh, has moved towards the pro-regulation, uh, pro-bailout, pro-government intervention side, uh, especially in the last 12 years it definitely has. But there's some people remaining in the Republican Party, like myself, to change that. So I, I think McStupid's an idiot here, and it just shows her knee-jerk reaction and just how idiotic she is. Uh, she has some issues, folks, and uh, I have no problem with... Uh, I wouldn't care. Gary Johnson, I'm voting for him, and he made a point that he doesn't go to church. Well, so what? I don't care. I'm not offended at that. It's his right, uh, because we're electing a, pa a president, not a pastor. And... Uh, in short, again, McStupid is an idiot. Uh, now moving on to our main event. And now to our main event, folks. Uh, first thing I need to do, because I'm going to tie this in at the end, is uh, McStupid, McCain is through X, admitted that she also runs the McCain is through channel. I'm going to post the screenshots of that. I have several screenshots there. She lists on her McCain is through X channel, she lists McCain is through as one of her featured channels and vice versa. And then on her McCain is Through X channel, she said our original channel name is McCain is Through in response to another user. And I have all the screenshots there and uh, I'm pointing to the relevant links that show that she made this admission so she can't accuse me of accusing her of fault, you know, falsely of running uh, other channels. So we have smoking gun evidence there. McCain is Through admits that McCain is Through X is her channel and vice versa, so she runs both of them, so I need to tie those in. You'll see those screenshots going by, because at the end of this video, I'm going to show another example of her hypocrisy, where she will change, change positions numerous times 
if she thinks it'll strengthen her position, but it actually makes her look stupid because I've paid attention to what she says, and uh, she apparently doesn't pay much attention to what she says. Uh, she's an idiot. It's become conventional wisdom that the auto bailout, depending on where GM's stock price goes, is going to cost taxpayers right now about $25 billion. Even uh, government literature says this, but that's lowballing it, as, as I'll explain. We're going to lose about $25 billion, depending on where stock prices go between now and whenever, how many decades into the future the government decides we're going to, it's going to sell off its ownership of GM. So the conventional wisdom is it's going to cost us $25 billion. When you look at that in terms of the 202,000 employees that GM has, uh, that's quite a bit per worker. <laughs> All that whenever we find out what it's going to cost us. And I will say too, the longer government hold the longer the government holds out on selling off its GM assets, I'd say there's bigger chance the taxpayers are going to get soaked even worse. And of course McStupid was against this uh, socialist bailout, as I'll show, because uh, the the funds for the GM bailout came from uh, uh, TARP. Yet she was against TARP, so, but she was declaring the automaker bailout a success before even before GM's IPO. I don't have screenshots of that, but I have her screenshot of her praising the automaker bailout as a success uh, when it's not. So we're going to lose at least $25 billion. We're, t GM is still in TARP, and taxpayers are owed $27 billion currently but what they leave out we're going to have to it's going to have the break even price is $52.39 per share currently and uh, GM's share prices are nowhere near that so we're going to lose a lot right now it's hovering around the $23 range uh, and it hasn't been doing very well since its IPO it's crashed so what we need to uh, look at here is the uh, what Obama, what Hussein let, left, uh, actually, if you, it'd be about 16.6 .6 billion where the stock prices are at today. Around 16 billion we'd lose. But what they don't tell you is Hussein let GM keep 45 billion dollars in past losses to offset future profits. The administration essentially gifted 45 billion in write-offs, which is a book value of 18 billion to GM. So what GM earned. When GM earned a $7.6 billion profit in 2011, it paid no taxes. <gasps> and we know progressives are just angry as heck about people not paying taxes. I'd like to rip a page from Herman Cain's book and we can implement a flat tax on income with absolutely no deductions and then transition to a flat consumption tax after we, we repeal the 16th Amendment because taxing income is just stupid and it fuels the belief that Washington owns owns all your money and you can keep what they think you deserve which is BS and when you include the 18 billion dollar gift of those write-offs the taxpayer loss is about 34 billion dollars and then I've got uh, screenshots of uh, a recent inspector the SIGTARP report that was uh, put out which will validate what I'm saying here what my sources are saying if you check out this note buried in the inspector's report, as a part of a credit, a credit agreement with Treasury, $16.4 in TARP funds were placed in an escrow account that GM could access only with Treasury's permission. GM got Treasury's okay to repay more than $6.7 billion using a portion of the escrow account that had been funded with TARP funds. So GM is merely paying the government back with government money, not money GM is earning selling cars as the administration has claimed. And I got all those screenshots, smoking gun evidence there. So if the stock, if they sold the stock right now, the government sold off all its earnings they had in GM, it's going to lose about $34 billion. If GM stock price doesn't tank, between now and whenever the government decides to finally quit being government motors, that $34 billion loss, and you divide that by GM's 202,000 employees, it has worldwide. That works out to over $168,000 per job. $168,000. That's a good investment, you think? Well, Congress tried to pass an automaker bailout. The House passed it. The Senate said no. It didn't get the 60 votes for closure. But Paul Ryan, he voted for the automaker bailout because he's a free marketeer. Is he really? Okay. He voted for a number of other things, but that's not the topic. And then you've got McStupid saying, 
uh, chastising Bush's socialist bailout that the retard didn't even know that Biden and Obama both, both voted for that socialist bailout you were whining about that cost us well over $700 billion. And then they went ahead and used TARP funds because it's supposed to only be for financial institutions, but they use it for GM too. So, uh, no, the automaker bailout was not a success, moron. If you'd actually read the literature on this and not been pulling talking points out of your rear end, you idiot, you wouldn't be making these stupid statements. So, again, I've nailed McCainus through X for whining, and by extension, her McCainus through account was whining on the I'm Voting Democrat video about Bush's socialist bailout. So, she's an idiot. Whenever she starts running her mouth, you can be rest assured she's full of crap. Have a nice day.